Welcome back to my series on having a narc free new year. And for those of you who don't know, it's where I'm reading excerpts out of my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People. If you want the links for it, it is going to be down below. And also if you missed other videos in this series, I will have them at the tail end of this video so you can just click on through. With that said, let's get on with it. All right, we're on to page 79, chapter four, healthy boundaries. Let me start with this quote. You cannot convince people to love you. This is an absolute rule. No one will ever give you love because you want him or her to give it. Real love moves freely in both directions. Don't waste your time on anything else. Now about healthy boundaries. One of the main things you need to do is practice reciprocation. If you're in a relationship with somebody who's pulling back, then pull back when they pull back. Stay conscientious of the give and take in the relationship. Be aware of when things get out of balance. Let me give you an example. In the last chapter, I shared my experience of going out, going out on a date with someone who was giving a lot of red flags. There were a lot of warning signs of him being a narcissist. So I said to this person, I really like you, but I'm a little bit afraid of you and I'm just being honest. I hope that's okay. This person responded with no empathy, no effort. He just ghosted me. Now, I didn't hear from him until a week after that, the date that we went on and that's when we had the next text conversation. Why did he let a week go by without texting me back after the date? I sincerely asked that because I gave this man a lot of attention and there was definitely mutual attraction and chemistry. So why did it take him a week to follow up with me? I believe that was to create emotional distance. A lot of times narcissists want to be chased. So they'll pull back attention, hoping you pull in and then they'll have leverage in the relationship. Sometimes if they're an amorous narcissist, They'll chase, but ultimately if things get too deep, they're going to pull back and create distance, hoping you keep distant. In my particular situation, if what happened to me happened to you, what would you do? Would you chase the person if he or she didn't text you back the next day? Would you have texted him or her back? What do you do in these kinds of relationships where everything looks positive? But you're getting this mixed signal. They're not taking the appropriate action to follow through. When they're not initiating, do you start over giving to compensate for their under giving? Because if you do, this is where the imbalance begins. Often they want you to do more work and them less. So be careful, remain aware of reciprocation in the relationship. A healthy person who desires a healthy relationship will be aware and want to make up or compensate for any overtaking that they have done. They'll find other ways to give or to restore balance, fairness, and justice to the relationship. And this is especially so if they were the ones who brought the imbalance in the first place. A narcissist, on the other hand, won't. They'll let you pick up their load and they won't feel any shame for it. It's part of how they get their power. By sitting back and letting you do the work, they'll prey upon your insecurities and fears of losing the relationship instead of a fear of losing yourself. Givers need to set limits because takers rarely do. If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at Amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.